the first thing that came into my mind was i have to manage my time properly because in lockdown we were not having anything even the colleges were not uh, the classes were not happening and then we were at home sometimes we used to get online classes so what i did was uh, um, like morning time i used to watch all the lectures of uh, my offline college and evening i used to uh, manage this iit degree and then when the lockdown got over the same i continued and till now i follow the same thing and along with this you should i actually prefer putting a timetable and uh, following it so monday to wednesday if i have taken three subjects so monday to wednesday i'll finish all the video lectures thursday and friday i'll keep it for uh, the graded assignments and saturday sunday if i have some projects i'll do it or else i'll take rest on saturday and sundays after joining this um, iit bs degree i've got a lot of opportunities so mm. i know in between uh, we get i mean it gets tougher and tougher at the end you will get a lot of opportunities a lot of doors will open for you and what not i mean we cannot express it i mean that's how uh, iit has yeah. given me hello everyone today we have tejas b with here all of us and we will be sharing he will be sharing some insights with us we will look into his journey and uh, let's start so tejas first of all a very warm welcome thank you akrima so tejas uh, now that uh, can you please introduce yourself for our students and our viewers hello all i'm tejas 23 year 23 years old from mysore karnataka um i'm in the bs level of ipm bs degree and along with this i have also completed msc in business statistics from vit vellore and to my great means i've got placed in in courses oh wonderful so there is uh, how did you get to know about this bs degree so uh, during lockdown uh, somewhere around december 2020 uh i used to go through this uh, google news and all so that's when i saw the iitm bsc advertisement and then i opened it i checked it how the degree goes on and everything so after that i applied it for the may term and then i cleared the qualify exams and then i got into the bsc program okay so right now have you finished it or are you still pursuing the degree uh now i am in the bs level the first term so next one will be the last term by december 2025 i'll be finishing it oh, amazing that's so lovely to hear so tejas uh, right now uh, like you are in bs term so you have done the foundation the diploma so if we reflect upon now on your journey uh, what would be the most interesting subject that you like in this whole journey a bit from foundation or diploma interesting subjects like in foundation was python i really enjoyed that subject everyone will agree with this uh, and then in diploma the data science part i loved everything the whole the all the subjects and all because i love mathematics so mm -hmm. in mlf mlt and then mlp mlp is all about how algorithms work and all and then everything was mathematics so i literally enjoyed the data science diploma level okay the degree um, level literally like the software testing course was very much interesting and uh, so you are pursuing an offline degree also you told us i just completed my msc okay 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 so you uh, when you joined this degree you were have attending the offline college as well the offline course as well uh, when i joined this degree i was pursuing bsc in physics chemistry and maths okay so uh, how did you manage both the degrees and uh, between because assignments quizzes 
So the first thing that came into my mind was I have to manage my time properly because in lockdown, we were not having anything. Even the colleges were not, uh, the classes were not happening. And then we were at home. Sometimes we used to get online classes. So then, uh, I mean, that was a time when I thought I used to, I mean, I should do something. I must make myself, I mean, I must keep myself active in something so that uh, it will be productive. So what I did was, uh, um, like, morning time, I used to watch all the lectures of uh, my offline college. And evening, I used to uh, manage this IIT degree. And then when the lockdown got over, the same thing I continued until now, I follow the same thing. And along with this, you should, I actually prefer putting a timetable and uh, following it. So Monday to Wednesday, if I've taken three subjects, so Monday to Wednesday, I'll finish all the video lectures. Thursday and Friday, I'll keep it for uh, the graded assignments. And Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday, if I have some projects, I'll do it. Or else I'll take rest on Saturday and Sundays. That's how I manage it. At least weekends where you kept them for the yeah. at least a uh, bit for rest because rest is also very much important. Only then you can perform well if your body and mind are rested really. That's true. Okay, so uh, Tejas also regarding the, now that you are placed in Infosys, so how did the space degree help in that? So the BS degree literally helped me very much uh, right from the foundation level. The way uh, they have curated the video lectures, uh, the everything, even the graded assignments. So the thing is, what is different in BS degree from, I mean, in a, uh -huh. when we compare it to other uh, colleges is degrees. to understand the particular subject, you can go to the further levels. Else you cannot. You cannot just mug up things or you cannot depend upon uh, previous equation papers and all those things. Uh, you just have to get to know the subject and then only you can move ahead. So that is uh, where uh, like foundation was built for me. So on that foundations, I also did my master's. And in my master's, I got fourth rank. And then in uh, the 10 years, the convocation is there. And even for the interviews, the topics that I had learned in ITBS degree and in my master's. So both helped me actually. And the projects that I've done, the pro uh -huh. projects in IIT, it's, the quality is very good. I mean, uh, may it be MAT1, MAT2, business data uh -huh. management project, and then MLP project. Everything is top notch, to be honest. And one more thing is, uh, like the projects, it will be evaluated uh, by the industry professionals. Uh, that is the actual, I mean, the interesting part, to be honest. So getting evaluated from them and then getting clear and getting the project cleared. So that's how I could clear the interviews and all. Amazing. Uh, so uh, except that, now what are your future plans? What do you think what we will be doing in the future to go ahead with this degree and finish it? That is one part, as you told me. But other than that, what are you planning to do? So, like, I am planning to, like, take up competitive exams and clear it. Mm -hmm. I'm aiming to get the government job. So, mm -hmm. the first preference is... Uh, Airport Authority of India's uh, air traffic controller job. So uh, that one I'm aiming. So planning to clear it in 2026. So that's my aim as of now. Along with that, I'll also go with, I mean, continue working in Infosys. So the joining date has already come and then it's the first day of the SARA. So on September 22nd, I'll be joining. What's the joining date? September 22nd. So I'm just excited. <laughs> stepping into new life I guess yeah will you be moving out also no no I live in Mysore and Infosys also is in Mysore so yeah. it's, a... uh, it's better I think it's much more convenient option for you you don't have to go out and start everything from scratch that's true
I'm just waiting to begin a new life and over there. I'm sure you will do wonders in your future. So, Tejas, okay. So, um, as we talked about this degree, okay. So, uh, was it that you always wanted to do something in like this field or uh, did life take a turn and you ended up being here? No, I didn't want to become a data scientist, but then I actually wanted to become a mathematics teacher. So I used, yeah, after 12th, I used to try for uh, colleges which offered BSCPI. Uh, I guess if you have heard about Regional Institute of Education, RIE, mm -hmm. it's just like IITs only. There are only four colleges in India. So I wrote the exam and then lost the seat by 0.1%. And then... I was very much sad with that. And like when I lost that, I literally got IIT. So, and then I uh, took yeah. up IIT and I just mm -hmm. gave it a try. Okay, why not? Let me give it a try and let's see. Anyhow, data science was all about mathematics, statistics, and computer science, and then how algorithms work and the programs is all about logic and everything. So, mm -hmm. gave it a try and then brought me till here. And one more thing is uh, the opportunities that I got through the IIT I and mean, inside the IIT UBS is uh, I was a student mentor in Python programming course and now I'm the project mentor for uh, business data management project. So there are a lot of opportunities over here. And then that's, I mean, you cannot tell like, express it because IIT has given a lot recognition and it has redefined my life completely. Mm -hmm. Would you like to elaborate on that part a bit more? Uh, the role of, you know, the role of this degree into your life? Because it's um, an online degree and, uh, you know, the diverse students that we have and it's reaching out to so many people. It is helping. So would you like to elaborate a bit yeah, and the one more thing is, uh, apart from the opportunities that we get, we get to interact with a lot of nice people. Like there mm -hmm. are people from different backgrounds, right? From army and then IAS, IPS officers, and doctors, engineers. Oh, yes, yes. Colonels are so, also there. Yeah, so there are many. So mm -hmm. we get to interact with them directly, like this. Just like they are also. Uh, in the student uh, fraternity. So we get to talk to them like uh, maybe in the live sessions or even wow. on LinkedIn. Yeah. So that is one part. And we get a lot of, uh, in I mean, friends over here from different parts of the country. And we get to learn different culture, the way mm -hmm. they have come. So that one is the very nice part of this thing. Get it, I get it. Amazingly said. So, Tejas, now since you were very much interested in mathematics only and then it took a turn. So, uh, uh, in these uh, diploma or degree level subjects, you told me which one was your favorite subject. Also, were there specific instructors which you uh, like, you know, mailed them or really like to interact with them? Um, Sudarshan Ayangar, sir. Python. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's my favorite professor. Oh, he's a lovely person. He actually uh, lives the subject that he teaches, right? That's true. He That's the true. The of his heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they just now that so many students and so many juniors are watching you, what would your advice uh, to them would be? So, my advice is, uh, like, after joining this um, IIT BS degree, I've got a lot of opportunities. So, mm -hmm. I know in between, uh, we get, I mean, it gets tougher and tougher, but don't lose hopes. Please stay in this degree. At the end, you will get a lot of opportunities. A lot of doors will open for you and whatnot. I mean, we cannot express it. I mean, that's how uh, IIT has yeah. given me. 
yeah yeah i can so, see that gratitude from you yeah and one more thing even inside this iit bs degree you get a lot of opportunities even to mentor your fellow f- students and all so a lot of opportunities being even uh, becoming a group leader before it was group leader now it has become regional coordinators so even uh, leading the group and everything mm. i mean you cannot uh, tell like this is a very, very best thing that has happened ever in my life so please everybody do this degree stay in this complete till bs level and then i'm re- i mean i'm sure that you will have a lot of opportunities with you at the end of this degree Sure, sure, sure. Also, Tejas, but there are moments where you also felt demotivated and discouraged and you low, um, kind of you thought of giving back, but then you stood up against. Were there any moments and what was your motivation to complete this? Because you were doing both of the degrees simultaneously and it's a bit difficult to manage both of them. Uh, yeah, like I literally didn't want to come into the programming uh, field, but then I landed up. and then this at the beginning it was very much tough for me to uh, get used to the programming part of the things but one advantage was i had very good friends so they helped me to okay um, yes the power of community yeah a big thanks to them to be honest me uh, right from the graded assignments till the projects wow. they have helped me a lot they have guided me so a big thanks to all of my friends who helped me in this degree yeah that is so sweet of you to say that such gratitude such immense thankfulness to our friends ha ah, see even uh, i feel like that if you have good friends if you have good company you can sail through anything it becomes much more easier exactly mm-hmm. so uh, anything else you would like to share um like i want to tell a quote uh, uh-huh. from one person like i you i mean i keep this everywhere on my table and everything everyone with a dream know that your dreams are valid and on your path you're never denied but only being redirected so don't lose hopes in case something doesn't happen but surely you will be redirected towards a better way mm. wonderful that was such an inspiring and powerful quote but motivating it i think we all should do this and this is a very healthy practice also that wherever you sit or spend most of the time in your day you can put these quotes or something that keeps you motivated the whole day more than motivation i think it's the inspiration that works for people right in the long term because motivation so you lose uh, after like 2 3 days but inspiration is something that keeps you going that is true Okay, so on that note, uh, this was Tejas with us, guys. And do like and comment this video, and tell us in the comment section if you want to have some another, if you want to see some another students, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, huh? Okay, thank you so much, Tejas, for uh, taking our time and uh, being here. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Agrima.